Hey everyone, this is Melissa, your fearless leader of Limitless Army and Diamond Team Beachbody Coach, creating a quick video on how to be a successful Team Beachbody Coach. So the truth is that with Team Beachbody, they give you exactly what you need to be successful. But we complicate things because that is just who we are as people. And we think we need to have tons of sources of ways to get people and we might even buy email lists and do all of these things that are unnecessary. And I'm going to tell you why. Beachbody tells us that in order to be a successful team Beachbody coach, all we have to do is follow the three vital behaviors. Those are invite, 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 be proof that the product works, and personal development. So Let's start with invite, invite, invite. Basically, when I became a coach, I was completely overwhelmed with um, everything. I had no idea where to start. Uh, my coach at the time was also fairly new, and we were just trying to figure things out. The back office got very uh, complicated for us, and we didn't take it to basics right away. So I didn't start my Beachbody business till about like six months after actually starting. And when I actually started, I became diamond within weeks. And the reason is because of the invite, invite, invite vital behavior. If you invite five people a day, how many people is that in 30 days? If you invite more than that, multiply that by a month. The vital behavior of inviting can be done any which way that you like. You can do it in person, you can do it over the phone, you can do it on social media. I do all of my inviting over Facebook. That is how I run my, my business on Facebook. Yes, I have an Instagram account, I have a blog, etc., but everything goes over to my Facebook and that is where I talk to people. I private message people about my groups and I post about my upcoming groups. I also talk about the successes that are going on in my groups. I talk about my own progress within challenge groups. When you're doing that, what you're doing is inviting people in the back end and giving them an idea of being part of your group and they're asking you questions. But then on the front end, which I'm going to get to you, the second vital behavior, they're seeing that you're being you're part of something bigger and they want in. So, invite any which way you like, whether it's in person, phone, social media, a mix of the two, talking to someone at the supermarket, Whatever it might be, find what's comfortable for you and practice doing it. Also, you have to be very consistent with it. You can't invite 20 people one day and then wait next month to invite 20 more. That is not how habits are made. Create consistency. If it's 20 people, do 20 people a day. I would suggest starting off five people a day. Keep the consistency going and Practice the invitation process. Practice asking somebody about joining your challenge group. Practice talking about a challenge group. You might fail. You will fail a number of times, but I promise that you're going to fail forward. And that if that person said no to you in the beginning, the other vital behaviors will ensure that they say no, they say yes to you in the future. And that brings me to vital behavior number two, being proof that the product works. That is so important. As Beachbody coaches, the reason you first even came across Beachbody was because you wanted to be a healthier person. So you started a workout program and you started Shakeology. And in turn, you've become healthier. Your, you know, your body is seeing all of these changes. You're happier. You have more energy, etc. You need to share that with people. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a six-pack or if you are on the beginning of your fitness journey. That is not what matters. What matters is that you are on a journey and you're sharing that journey without selling. So talking about all the meals that you're having, the foods, how you feel, etc. The regular way that you would talk about this with a friend. If you went to a restaurant and it was absolutely delicious. You call up your friend and say, hey, 
I went to XYZ restaurant in town. They just opened up. Oh my God, you have to come with me. Let's go. Your friend says, nah, I can't go. All right, how about Wednesday? No, I can't do it. Okay, how about next week? Let's go. We got to go. I need you to go to this restaurant. You have to eat this food. That is inviting, right? And that is just talking about something that you absolutely love and persuading someone to do it with you. Instead, what happens is that as soon as somebody becomes a coach, they forget that they are also challengers and they become salespeople. And coaches are not salespeople. Coaches are people who have gone through the process of a challenge group or are going through the process of a challenge group and just want to help others do the same. And the only way people know of what you're doing is if they're seeing your progress. So posting about your workouts, post about the foods you're eating, post about the way you feel, and you'll see that in turn, people will come around. The other and the last and the most important vital behavior, in my opinion, that kind of wraps it all around is personal development. And the reason why I think this is so important is that when when you're doing personal development, your inviting gets better, your posts get better, and you get better on the inside out. Every time I do personal development, I do it in the morning, I read something, and then guess what I do? I post about what I read. I tell people what I'm learning, and they're like, my gosh, like Melissa is blowing my mind at this moment. And the reason being, it's not my words. I'm just showing you that I'm learning something new and I'm sharing that with you. And the reason that I'm learning something new is because I'm a Beachbody coach and that's what Beachbody coaches do. And if you want to be part of what I'm doing, you should get your challenge pack, drink Shakeology, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that is the basis of how you're a successful coach and it just goes around in circles and it's all about consistency every day inviting every day posting about your journey and every day doing personal development and that's where you see success if you are a coach on my team i hope this was helpful for you if you're a coach on another team i really hope you found some type of value here and if you're considering being a coach feel free to email me at melthecoach at gmail.com thanks